If you didn't get into medicine after A-levels, here is how to decide between resit, a gap year, or doing a different degree for graduate entry medicine. Choose resit if you're realistically one good rebuild away from the entry requirements. A good resit candidate is someone with a small gap. So A star, A B, A, A, B, around that. You just need to find out the specific reason for why your grade dipped. If you have a larger gap, it's not impossible, but you need to make some major changes. You might need to change your study method, put more time towards revision, and also look for support like a private tutor. If your grades already meet the entry requirements for a lot of universities, this is where you'll take a gap year. You can use this gap year to focus on your UCAT, getting clinical experience and building up your confidence. You want to keep the five year route to medicine open. It's the fastest and cheapest route to medical school. The main cons for this are the pressures and the cost of resits, and also some universities do not accept A-level resits, so make sure to check university policies. Doing a different degree and hoping to get into graduate entry medicine is for those that have a big grade gap. So Bs, Cs, Ds. If you'd need to resit two to three of your A-levels, you could think about going down this route. Some people like me just didn't have the motivation to go through A-levels all over again. So if you're more committed long-term, then this could be for you. This is the hardest and most competitive option for getting into medical school. It is longer, averaging seven years, and you do have to pay for your tuition fees, making it the pricey option. If you're still stuck between resit and graduate entry medicine, I've made two checklists to help you decide. Save this video, go through the questions honestly, and whichever path you take, as I always say, let's get through medical school together.